Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today is January 11th, I think. It's 2.16 in the afternoon. I kind of slept in this morning and then we just relaxed all morning, didn't do too, too much. I mentioned in the vlog yesterday that we wanted to play Luigi's Mansion. It's a Switch game that Josh got for Christmas. And so this morning when we were relaxing, we were like, oh, that sounds like a great idea. So we started playing. And by we, I mean Josh, because here's a fun little fact. If you get Luigi's Mansion and you want to play co-op, it actually takes like almost two hours to unlock co-op. So the entire time I was just like holding my controller waiting because I thought, oh, okay, any moment I'm going to get to play and be Gooigi. And um, no, didn't, didn't happen. It took a long time for Josh to be able to uh, unlock it. So he finally got it unlocked, so that's awesome. But now it's two in the afternoon and we're hungry. So we decided we would go get lunch. Since our little experiment yesterday, taking Gemma to Relish worked out so well, we thought that we'd try again. And we're gonna walk to the same little area over across the street where we went yesterday. Um, and instead of getting burgers, we're gonna get some Asian food. So that's exciting. I hope Gemma does just as well during the daytime. I wonder if it was because it was dark, it was more calming. I don't know, we'll see. But we will keep you updated on how she does and we'll show you what we get. It's We're eating at a restaurant called Bento. I think it's a small chain. They have a couple here in Gainesville and I really like them, but I haven't had them in a long time. So we're gonna head over there and hopefully it's not too hot. I think it's like 80 degrees outside right now, which is so uncharacteristic for January. So that's why I'm wearing like, you know, shorts and like a t-shirt. So we will see you guys there. We made it to Bento. I got my food. I got a Szechuan rice bowl. We got some veggie spring rolls. And Gemma's being good. We're just waiting on your Poke Bowl. That looks so good. Yes, I did. And you created this creation all by yourself? Sure. <laughs> Very nice. We'll have to see how it is. I've never had a Poke Bowl, actually. No? No. She looks so brown on the camera. Gemma's being pretty good. Here, let me give you a piece of food. You're being good. Here you go, baby. Oh, she's trying to get her nose thing off. Why? Silly goose. Not your favorite. How was your food? Delicious. Did you get it again? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Clearly, I liked mine. Josh just picked us up some smoothies. We went to, well, you went to Planet Smoothie. It's right over there. You can see the smoothie sign. You get what flavor is yours? Uh, acai, apple, strawberry, and banana. And mine is acai, banana, blueberry, and strawberry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good. It's huge though, like look at the size of my hand. And that's the size of the smoothie. And this is a size small. I think we could definitely split one of these. Gemma is still being good. She's just watching everything. Gemma girl, come here. Down. Good girl. Good girl. Alrighty, update. We got home. We were out, I mean, for almost two hours. We kind of relaxed, ate our food, just enjoyed it. It actually wasn't that hot outside. We were sitting in the shade and there was a breeze, so it was really enjoyable. And then afterward, we had our smoothies. They were delicious. And Gemma, the entire time, just like laid under the table and was very, very sweet. But we were worried. We were like, doesn't she have to go to the bathroom? Because normally like during the day, she goes like every hour or so. But even when we went to go walk her home from where we were, she didn't go to the bathroom. It was so funny. As soon as we took one step into our yard, she peed, probably took like five more steps and then went to the bathroom. I think it's cute that she waited until she got home to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. Anyway, now we are getting ready to pack up our Christmas decorations. Ew. Josh is carrying Ew. them. You, you're sad? Oh, what was that? Why was so barren? Yeah, but then we can get everything back to where it's supposed to be. The wreath is my favorite part. I really do love having a wreath like when we walk into the door. We get a like all year round one. We don't even have like a, I don't think we have a spring one. I don't think so either. We only have fall and more. Do we get a new fall one this? Or no, we have fall one got moldy. No, remember we had the boo this time? We got the ghost now. The boo. Hey, are you being crazy? You were just good for two hours straight, and so now you have to get some energy out. So we got all of the decorations off of the tree. Posey is being of absolutely no help. She's just watching. And Gemma, we are trying to get her used to using her bed. And she keeps just attacking it. You can see wet marks all over the sides from where she's been chewing on it. So we're trying to convince her that beds are comfortable and they're meant for laying down in, 
but she believes that they're for playing with. It's not a big toy. Did you know that? She's got herself all worked up because she just thinks it's so much fun. Gemma, that's not what it's for. Down. Screw you, mom. Look at this big toy. Oh yeah, we also took the joy down and those decorations. Get the ribbon off the tree. Josh took the nativity down that was in the corner over there. The house kind of looks like a mess. There's a lot of posy toys down that hallway. Our dog still doesn't know how this bed works. Oh, she was laying on the floor and put her head on it. Okay, so as soon as I pull out the camera, she gets in the bed. Are you serious? Good girl, Gemma. As I was attempting to say earlier, Gemma doesn't understand how to use a bed. Gemma, you realize this is for you to lay on not the ground. It doesn't make any sense to me. And when I pulled up the camera last time, she was laying on the ground and had her chin up on like the edge of the bed. And then as soon as I like started videoing, she hopped up into the bed and laid down just to spite me. Alrighty, so we are unchristmasified. All the Christmas decorations are gone. The couch is still a mess because we just have a pile of blankets over there, but the tree is gone. Now Gemma has a lot more room to herself. It's burger time. So we are big fans of the Beyond Burger, especially now that it's Beyond 2.0. And we really like the Impossible Burger, but we can't buy the Impossible Burger in stores yet because it's not anywhere near where we live. So we decided to try out one of the new rivals that it has. It's the Light Life Burger. Is it called, like, does it have a fancy name? So just the Light Life plant-based burger, but it's supposed to be like fake meat type of thing. And uh, so Josh just made us some and he melted some BioLife on them. They're looking pretty good. Ooh, I wanna pop those bubbles. So this is mine. It's just got some guacamole and some pickles on it. Well, not guacamole. It's literally just smashed avocado. Patty's a little big for the bun, but yeah. it's gonna be good anyway. And then we also got some of our favorite chips of all time, all dressed ruffles. We're gonna eat these too, alongside of our burgers. Thank you for going to the store, honey, and getting us yummy food. No problem. So now we are just hanging out on the couch, ending our weekend, well, I guess my weekend, by watching Iron Man 2. Because the next movie that you're supposed to watch when you're watching like all the Marvel movies is The Incredible Hulk, and Josh doesn't want to watch it, so we're not watching it. I've it's never seen on, it. It's not on Disney Plus. Oh, it's not even on Disney Plus. It's no. so bad. That's wild. Anyway, so we're just watching Iron Man 2 while we eat our burgers. Gemma still doesn't quite understand that she's supposed to sleep on her bed. To be fair, I'll give her credit. When Josh went grocery shopping just now, she did lay in the bed the entire time he was gone. So she kind of understands, but she keeps getting back and forth like between the ground and the bed. So. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go enjoy the movie and our dinner. We will let you guys know what we think about the burgers. First of all, I have to show the little cutie. She's finally figured out how to use her bed. Anyway, so now it's 10 o'clock. I gotta go to bed soon because I have work tomorrow. Posey would also like to be in the video. Oh, is it too bright? Look at her, she won't even open her eyes. So what were your thoughts on the burger? I liked it, it was really good. It wasn't super flavorful. I don't like it better than Impossible or the Beyond, but I would agree. I'd get it again. Yeah, depends on the price of it. If it's like significantly cheaper than Beyond, then maybe we would get it more often. Next time that we try it, I do want to try seasoning it because it was a little bland, like you said. To me, it almost had like a pork flavor, like it tasted like a sausage, but obviously like there weren't spices in it that made it taste like sausage, if that makes sense. Granted, it also wasn't the best judge of it because normally I don't have smashed avocado on my burgers, but this time I did. So that might have thrown me off a little bit, but I enjoyed it. It definitely wasn't bad, that's for sure. So yeah, I would probably give it like a six out of 10. That's fair. Yeah, it's above average. It's better than, oh, what was that nasty one? We had um the one from Aldi. Oh, the one from Aldi was really Horrible. nasty. I think we've had it for like over six months. It, they ca it came in a pack of four and we ate the first ones and like they're still sitting in our freezer. We just haven't eaten them because they're gross. So we watched Iron Man 2. Fun fact about me, action movies put me to sleep and I may or may not have slept through the entire ending sequence. Stop. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what it is about action so movies. Weird. Like when I go to the movie theater, if I'm like watching, say one of the Wait. Avengers movies, I have to like be like wide awake or I will fall asleep during like the big fight scene. Well, you fell asleep during Rise of Skywalker. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. You when? You 100%. You told me afterwards, you're like, we have to go see that again because I kind of fell asleep through this part. And you told me when. There's no way. Yes, you 100% did. I probably did. As soon as you got out, you're like, we need to go see that again. Uh, you're like, I slept through this. And I was like, yeah, that was kind of important. 
I always sleep through like the the important parts too, and it really sucks. I'm just in it for the story, you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> I don't God. care about the action sequence. <laughs> Anyway, so we watched it and I really enjoyed it. I'm really like actively enjoying watching the old Marvel movies because what, that came out in 2010? Mm -hmm. It's been 10 years since that movie came out and I've probably only seen it once or twice. So it's almost like getting to watch it for the first time again because I have such a bad memory and 10 years ago is a long time ago. Like I was 13. So I'm really enjoying watching them. And now uh, before I go to sleep, we are watching The Cinema Sins, Everything Wrong with Iron Man and Iron Man 2. So we are going to go watch those. And I think that's gonna be it for today's video. There is a little bit of an announcement. So here's the sitch, just a little life update really quick. We are going on a trip to Disney in 10 days for Joshua's 23rd birthday, oh my goodness. And I work eight out of the next nine days. So we have one day off together. We may or may not film on that day, I am not 100% sure. So there might not be a bunch of videos up this week. But I'm hoping that we can get at least one or two videos out of our trip, if not more, just because I'm really excited. I love going to Disney. And then we'll get to like, have your birthday on film. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Our next video may or may not be at Disney. And that is the explanation for why there is a long gap in time between our videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next one. Bye.